My friends, Coach Tom here, iPlayTennis.com. More tennis terminology coming at you today. Today the term is let. Okay guys, so let, there's a couple of different things we can actually talk about when we're talking about a let. The first is a service let, okay? So a service let, you guys, it's when the ball, like I'm serving, I serve the ball, the ball hits the net and lands in the box, right? So it hits the net, goes over, lands in the box. That is a service let, and I get to redo that serve. If it hits the net and goes out of the box, doesn't count. It's just a fault, just like any other missed serve. But hits the net, goes into the box, I get to redo that serve. So it was my first serve, I get my first serve again. Second serve, I get my second serve again. That is a service let. Now there's also a let that comes into play when you're in the middle of a point or in the middle of a rally, right? The ball, same thing, the ball hits the net and goes over and in. Now that is a live ball. You actually have to play that type of let, right? It's a let that happens during the course of a rally, ball comes in and if it dribbles over the net and just kind of falls over the other side, that's just the way it goes. That person wins the point. It's a little bit unfortunate, but that's part of this game. So that type of let, again, you're in the middle of a rally, the ball hits the net, it goes over and in, you have to play that as a live ball. Now the last kind of let, it's kind of like a hindrance, right? So if you're playing and a ball from another court rolls through the middle of your court in the middle of a point, you get to call a let. It's a hindrance, right? You can't really play the point you want to play if there's balls rolling around at your feet from other courts. Now make sure you call this pretty quickly. Either player can call it, right? If I'm uh, if I'm your opponent and the ball is rolling across your court, I can still call the let, even though it's not on my side of the court. What I can't do is stand there and kind of play the point and let the point develop, the ball rolls through, we hit two or three more shots, I lose the point, and then I go, oh wait, no, let. Doesn't work that way. You gotta call the let immediately, right away. So that's the third type of let. It's really a hindrance from another court. Now be careful, if like a ball falls out of your pocket, that's kind of your responsibility. You need to make sure that that's not happening. Most players will kind of be like, all right, cool, one time is fine. Don't let it happen again, okay? Keep control of your own equipment. So that's it, those are the three types of lets. You've got a service let, you've got a let that happens while you're in the middle of a point or a rally, and you've got that hindrance type of let. And that's it, you guys. See you next time.